Hello, Sanger Unified Parents. I am going to take a few minutes to walk you through the parent account um, in Canvas so you can be more familiar with how to navigate that platform. So I am on a web browser. I'm currently using Chrome. You could use Safari, but Chrome is usually a better option. I'm gonna log in. And remember up here in the top that when I wanna log in, I'm going to sanger.instructure.com and I'll fill in my username and password. Um, if you haven't signed up for a parent account yet and you're not sure how to do that, you, there is a different video to help with that. Um, I'm gonna click login. That will take me to my dashboard, which um, will include a tile, a course tile, which is what these are for each one of my students' classes. If I have multiple students, all of them would show up here. Um, so remember, this is my account as a parent. So I'm gonna show you a few of the features within um, this platform. So if I click on account and I click on notifications, this is a way for you to get notified as a parent of all sorts of different things. You'll see there's a whole variety of things you can get notified of. So there's four different options for notifications. There's notify me right away. There's send a daily summary. There's send a weekly summary or don't send me anything at all. So depending on how actively you wanna view your student's progress, you can vary your settings accordingly. So these are within course activities. Do I wanna know when due dates um, of due dates that are posted? No, I don't need to know that. Grading policies, no, not so much. Course content, do I wanna be able to see that? Um, maybe weekly to see if anything was posted, but for me, I would click no. Files, I don't need to be updated. Announcements, now if a teacher is creating an announcement, it might be pertinent to me as a parent, so I could click notification right away, daily or weekly. I'm gonna click daily. I don't need to have 500 emails in my in inbox. Announcements created by you. As a parent, you're probably not gonna be able to even create any, so you would click no. Grading, so include scores when alerting about grades. If I wanna see my child's score, I would wanna click that. Um, so I could also get a daily or a weekly summary of grades. I might click weekly. Um, Invitations, no, that would be like if you're invited to join a course, which you wouldn't be as a parent. Um, submission comments, so like if your child submits work and the teacher writes a comment and reply, you would be notified of that. Um, you know, depending on how your child's doing in the class, you might want to be notified of that daily or weekly. I might click weekly. Blueprint sync has nothing to do with you. I would unclick that. Discussions, so this could have, a discussion could be um, part of an assignment. So I don't know if I wanna see that, I might click weekly. Conversations, now this is um, similar to email, and I'll show you that feature in a minute. Um, but if I'm added to a conversation, meaning someone, my child or the child's teacher emails me within the Canvas platform, do I wanna be notified? So I'll click daily. Um, a conversation message, yes, if definitely someone sends that to me. Do I need to be notified if I create the conversation? No. Um, any of these scheduling options, I would click no unless your child's teacher specifically directs you to. Um, you won't be involved in any groups or conferences. Um, administrative notifications, you might wanna get that. So I would click daily for that content error and global announcements, I wouldn't worry about. So I'm gonna show you about that, um, this feature conversations. That's basically what Canvas calls email. And over here on the left-hand side of my screen is an inbox. That's basically my email inbox. So if I wanted to email my child's teacher, it's technically not email, it's, it's a conversation, but if I click on this, I can select the course that I wanna send it to. So let's say I wanna send it to my child's math teacher. <clears throat> I can type in his name and the subject. Um, let's say my child took a math test and I'm wanting to follow up. Um, then I can type my message and click send. 
Um, I can also receive messages here and thus changing your notifications so that you know when um, you receive a message. Um, another option is calendar. So as an observer, you'll be able to see any due dates. Um, you'll see this is all populated with different due dates for my child's courses. So I can see when activities are due. Over here on the right hand side, if I want to unsubscribe or mute a specific course so that I see it or don't see it, see it, don't, I'm sorry, see it, don't see it. If it's gray, that means you won't see those dates. If it's colored, that means you will. Um, I can do that, but I can monitor my child's progress here. That's a quick and easy way to look at assignments and see when they're due. I can also go to dashboard and find the specific class that I want to look at. So this is math. And it's going to take me to this landing page where I'll see any recent announcements, um, kind of a welcome to the class, any units, kind of organizational things, information that the teacher wants to give to students. And these home pages are going to look different for every class. Um, this is a list of announcements, every single announcement that's ever been made for the class. Um, this particular teacher has a syllabus. You're mostly going to see that in middle school and high school. Modules is basically another word for a unit or maybe book chapters. Um, so you'll see this Welcome to Math has all the information about just the course in general. That's a module. And then he has um, unit modules. So there's unit one, and he'll be adding more modules, two, three, four, and five, as time goes by. Grades is another um, function that parents will usually want to look at. And so um, you'll see a list. Um, you can arrange by name. You can arrange by due date. Um, this is arranged by due date of any assignments. You can see if they're missing. You can see what the grade was um, over here on the right hand side. You can see more additional details. If there were any comments related to that assignment, you can see them all here. I hope that this is helpful um, in helping you navigate and um, monitor your child's progress through Canvas.